Friends, I do not speak of this lightly, for my heart is heavy, laden with the weight of the betrayal of a trust once known and cherished, rent in twain by the mere utterance of a few words. In all my life, in all the travails visited upon me, I thought I had known the meaning of pain. The taste of bitter sweet tears forced down my gullet by a sadness unimagined. I thought I knew that though the world be rife with turncoats and the foul, that among the dregs of those we call our fellow human beings, there were men of virtue, men who held in their hearts the cause of righteousness and lived by example in both word and deed. Such men were called the just, the kind, the compassionate, and I once knew such a man. He called himself Niko Chomsky. Like a beacon of light in darkest night, his heart shone through murky mist and deception to bring solace to those life had forsaken. I was one such to be touched by his words in mind as I lay helpless, drowning in a sea of chaos and pain. Battered by wind and wave, he came to me and guided me to shore, driving back both doubt and darkness. Here, I thought, was a man of greatness that all may call brother, father, and friend, and indeed, savior, as he parted the clouds of darkness to bring us the nourishing light of the sun. He was a good man, a just man, and I thought him to remain such, until I heard a bile from his lips hitherto unknown to me, that such fantastic corruption could be visited upon one I loved. Nothing had prepared me for it. I sat in quietude for some time, knowing neither whence nor whither, and yet here it was, incontrovertible evidence that the pall of darkness had been laid upon his heart, and where once his heart bore the light of the sun and lifted up his fellow men, it had fallen to depths darker than any man has known. When he uttered these words, I thought my senses to deceive me, and I strove with both heart and mind to drive away the pain, the disappointment, and agony they brought about in me. I was truly lost when he uttered, next fallout which is coming out. I don't care. No, it cannot be. You whom I loved, sent by the gods to redeem us, quoth you thus. Next fallout which is coming out. I don't care. And then it dawned upon me. Denial would not save me from the reality I heard. <laughs> For to deny the glory and greatness of post-apocalyptic Boston is the sole province of the wicked, the perfidious, the hateful, the destructive. You, Niko Chosky, my former love, have become betrayal personified. And yet, even as I struggle with this, I must ask myself, can one such as he come to no redemption? If I were to deny him such a chance, would I not also reek of the foulness he has become? I do not know, though perhaps wiser, greater men could forgive. I am likely too deficient in these qualities to forgive, and thus henceforth I can remember the man who had been sent by the gods to redeem us, and bury in the deepest, darkest recesses of my heart the fallen man, who in denying the glory of Fallout 4 came to cavort with devils, when his destiny had proclaimed him a companion of angels, a man who had once been a beacon of light now a candle caligonous and torch tenebrous, a man whom I had loved as brother, father, and friend, I say unto you, may the gods forgive you, for I cannot. May you know the pain of a thousand deaths as death claws tear at your entrails. Farewell, my love.